I want to take you guys through one of the best moves when you have an opponent who just likes to bull rush towards you. You don't want to just stand your ground, keep your hands up, you don't want to rely strictly on footwork. What is a very sound tactic to defeat these people who rush forward with way too much offense? Before we get to that, yeah, I know I'm wet. I was just outside running, charging around, came back home, went, whoa, we passed 300,000 subscribers on the channel. So amazing. Everybody who subscribed, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. In celebration of this, I have my defense course, which many of you have actually taken, but obviously 300,000 of you on the channel, so many of you have not. So in celebration, I have a big sale. $50 off at something like 33%, I believe. So I have a link down below. I'll throw one right up there. Check out this course, 25 plus videos. We had three live calls. Those are recorded, so you can watch them as well. Some great questions coming in from everybody who took the course. So let's talk about how do we stop somebody who just, you know, they're facing towards you and they just charge in with their attack. And what are my options? My options very often are to stand my ground, get defensive, or to try and backpedal and cut an angle. If I'm going defensive, I'm going to try and get counter shots in to make sure that I make them pay. But how can we combine footwork and some offense and a little defense all together in one sound, strong move to shut them down and stop them from being able to continue walking forward? We take our back foot and we step backwards. As I step backwards with my back foot, I don't want this shoulder to stay in front. I'm not trying to just do this. I'm trying to actually drop my weight downwards. This does a couple things. Defensively, it takes my head off the center line. That's a great start. My head is no longer right where it was. As I step backwards, my head moves back just a little bit as well. So I've taken my head from this point sort of over to back here. And as I do that, I twist my shoulders. So now this arm, which normally would be able to touch right now, once I step backwards, I can still touch. So I don't lose all too much distance. I really like that. Something that Conor McGregor did very well early in his career in the UFC. He's standing here and he just takes a step back. Boom. Now, we want to make sure that this cross still has power because we want to make them pay. But we have to remember that they are the person moving forward. So they're already creating extra power for us in that motion. This does not have to be something where you're kind of like, okay, I've got to boom, hit way hard and way through. No, they're already moving into you. So as they move in and you step back, any clip to the jaw or the face, especially if you're accurate, is going to be very, very detrimental to this person. So don't worry about trying to overthrow on this. I've seen many people try to practice this in the gym and they're kind of like, Ugh, throwing way too hard. No, let the shoulder just kind of boom, snap forward as you step back, boom, that's it. And then just place it in. And every time this person runs forward, they're going to be trying to reach, but your head's already gone. They get hit as they run in because they're moving fast. They're creating more power. So that shot is going to seem like it has so much force than it really would. If they were just sort of standing here and you did it, you step back, you throw the punch, they don't move into it. It won't really hurt. But as the person launches themselves forward, that's when this is gonna have such a great application. So remember, it's just the back foot. Back foot, body rotates, head drops off the center line, throw your cross, and then of course from there, it's gonna be up to you. Do you wanna take an additional step backwards to recreate all sorts of space? Just keep yourself super safe, or are you gonna to wanna to go one and then follow up with something else and get this back foot to return where it was. You don't want to stay in this elongated stance for too long, obviously, because low kicks and such, you can't really evade them. So it's either step, step, or step, step. Either one is going to be fine. Play around with this. Try it. All you have to do is time correctly. You wait for the person to move in on you, you have your hands up, and you just take that step back as soon as they move. Boom. And even if you don't land, even if they don't actually step forward, you gave them something to think about. So you might next time have more success with stopping them 
on their attack, right? They start to move forward, you just give that little twitch and step back and they might go, whoa, no. So play around with this. I think it's one that you're gonna really like. Like I said, it combines footwork, offense, and defense all together. Three for one, it's a really good move.